Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this morning on um, Monday Morning Motivation. I am so excited to have you here with me this morning as you come on in. Please just drop your name and where you're streaming from. I'm trying to take this ring light out of my glasses so that you're not seeing all these lights in my eyes. Happy Monday morning. It is March the 22nd. We are almost done with the first quarter. And when I think about you know, the years I spent in corporate America, and I think about being a business owner now, I'm always thinking about quarters, right? First quarter is almost done. The end of March is the end of the first quarter. Three months is over, which means we only have three quarters left in the year. Listen, by the time you blink, it is over. Good morning, good morning. I'm so excited for you to join me this morning as you come in. Just drop your name. Let me know that you're 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 here with me, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're streaming from. I am just happy that you're here with me. Good morning, Hillette. How are you? So nice to see. I cannot wait for later, Hillette. I cannot wait for later for you and I to connect. I'm so honored. Oh my God. My mentee interviewing her mentor. So I'm excited to be here this morning. And honestly, this morning, I just want to have real talk with my sister girls. This morning, great, rising, beautiful, Angela. This morning, I just want to talk. I really didn't have a lot prepared for this morning. You know, more every Monday morning, I come with something. This morning, I just want to talk, real talk with my sister girls. And I think if you look at the title of my live this morning, I just want to know if you guys are ready for your uh, your legacy. Have you prepared yourself for what you're going to leave, what your name will be known for, what you will be known for? And as I think about Women's Month and I think about Women's History Month, which we're still in, by the way, um, and I think about all the women that have trailblazed the path for us women to be here. When I think about the, the 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 women's suffrage and I think about what women did back in the days for us to get equal pay, which we're still struggling with anyway, because we don't get half as much as what our male counterparts get, but we have come a long way. And when I think about the Me Too movement and when I think about equality in the workplace and when i think about the fact that women um you know are now car makers and women are doing construction work and women are doing the things that uh usually it's like a male dominated industry and women are in it right whether it's tech whether it's it whether it's construction whether it is artificial intelligence no matter what it is there's a woman up in there. I love that. I love that we have been able to branch out into so many things, which makes us so powerful, which makes us so powerful. And I, I don't know. Good morning, Shania. How are you? Hey, Sonia. And I don't know sometimes if we recognize how powerful we are. And uh, I was on a call recently Good morning, overseer. Good morning. Nice to see you. And someone said, um, ladies, you are the crown. <laughs> I love it. Ladies, you are the crown. You are the crown to your husband. You are the crown to your children. You're the crown to the world. You're the crown, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to society. And I wonder if we ever think about that. Good morning. Good morning. We are powerful indeed. I wonder if you think about that, that you are the crown, the power that you have, um, even from creation. And I want to, to talk to you about what the crown means and the definition, and there are several definitions. I'm just gonna choose the one I wanna choose this morning, <laughs> right? I'm just gonna choose the one I wanna choose this morning where I want that to be. It says the distinction that comes from a great achievement or the power or dominion of a sovereign, right? The sovereign is the head of the state or the supreme governing power of a state under a monarchical government, right? 
but I want us to be the distinction that comes from a great achievement. Our achievement is that we were created um, in the image of God and we were created to enhance the, um, the dominion covenant. But God says, you know, multiply and replenish the earth, right? And so we are the crown. And the minute we start thinking about that, I don't want us to get all big headed and act like a man. We don't have to be all masculine to say that, you know, we are the crown. We can be just as soft, just as feminine, just as, um, you know, but firm in our understanding of who we are and not cower because we think that we have to be submissive submissive there's a level of submission that we have to be for our husbands right for those of you that are married and if you are unmarried then you're submitted to god right the level of submission that you have is to to god our father but at the same time the goal is not for us to be so submissive that we lose who we are and lose our crown or lose our strength and so this morning i want to ask this question where are you what are you doing to um, create or enhance your legacy. Where are you in that process? This is 2021, it's the year of the woman. I don't even know if that's the truth, we just claiming it to be the year of the woman because there's so many women opening business and there's so many women doing amazing things around the world. I mean, there's conferences that goes on almost every single day where women are dominating these conferences. And most of the conferences are either self-help, self-development, mindset, um, business structuring, business um, launching. Everything that women are doing now is to empower themselves and each other. And I love the fact that I'm seeing a lot of collaboration where women are concerned. I feel like even more so now than before, women are coming together and collaborating. And there is no barrier. It's an ageless thing. It's young. It's middle age. It's baby boomers. It's more mature. It's everybody. There is this thing that is happening. There's a movement that is taking place. And I know that it's being directed by God. Women are getting up. We are Deborahs, man. There's some Deborahs that God is raising up. There's some Ruth and Naomi that God is raising up. You know what I mean? There's some Esther that God is raising up. There's some Hannah that God is raising up, right? God is raising these women up to be able to lead people to his kingdom. Because no matter what we do at the end of the day, we have a purpose. And no matter how we get to that purpose, no matter the different areas that we um, that we are talented and gifted in, no matter what our assignment is on earth, our assignment has to lead people to know God. So at the end of the day, there is one uh, there is one purpose, but we come into our purposes individually in our own individual way with the gifts and the talents and the things that we have in our hand, right? And so that is all leading people to the glory of God, leading people to understanding who God is, leading people to Jesus Christ. I may be able to sing and my voice is so beautiful and I can sing a gospel music and you can give your life to Christ based on the words coming out of my mouth and the emotion that it evokes when I sing to you, right? Or I could be a musician and just the instrument allow you to connect because there's something about music, right? Or I could be, you know, something else, a physician. And I save your life because of something that God gave me the gift to do. And as a result of that, we say, you know what? I came so close to death. It's time I turn my life around and get to the master. There's everything that we do at the end of the day leads us to the ultimate purpose of who we are, right? And you don't have to be um, a professional at the gifts and talents. Your gift and talent could be serving. Your gift or talent could be um, just proclaiming the word of God. Your gift or talent could be something that may not be in the limelight, but as a result of you walking in it and you doing it, people are impacted. People lives are changed, right? People, uh, chains are broken. 
stories are told that will get people to to release burdens that they have had because your story impacted them so much so with that says good morning good morning good morning hey kaylin so with that says what is the purpose that you are walking in right now so often we say i don't know what my purpose is i can't tell you how many people i speak to this is i don't know what my purpose is <clears throat> or people that i speak to that say um i think i know what my purpose is and we just go back and forth with this purpose listen we all have some something that we're good at that we are great we know it we know it and 90 percent of the time if you go back you can figure it out i'll give you an example so today here i am right an elder i am a publisher i i have a company i have people that work with me and for me um i am excited that i get to impact lives i'm excited that as a result of what i do people can survive people can live people can uh supplement their their full-time income right i am excited that i get to provide that for others right but long 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 ago right when i was in my corporate world i had no idea what i wanted to do but when i go back now and think about my life as a child i remember being six years old and before i even go back um now I'm an elder, right? Now I'm bringing the word of God or some element of the word of God every Monday and Wednesday. Every Monday and Wednesday, I am here talking about Jesus Christ in some way, shape or form, right? Making sure that I am uh, referencing it to our lives now, our daily lives and how we can live um, according to the word of God today in our lives, right? And we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm so far from perfect. It's not even funny. But no matter what I'm going through, I am committed to showing up for God every Monday morning and every Wednesday night. I'm committed. Even if I'm struggling, even if I'm in pain, even if the world is falling down around me. Yeah, there may be one or two times where I can't make it because I don't feel well or I might be on vacation or something happens. And on, on a Monday morning, I might say, let me cancel this. But here I am now in this age doing this, right? And this Monday morning thing I've been doing since 2019. So it's two full years consistently. But I remember as a young girl, I must have been six years old and my mother I lived in Kingston, Jamaica. I was born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. And I remember there was this like, uh, it was the side of the house, but it was like this board and I would get chalk and I would write on the board. And there were children that lived, it was like a, ten, a tenant, like, you know, multiple home kind of thing. A lot of different tenants lived there. And I remember at six and seven, I would pretend to be the teacher. And all the kids that lived in that apartment building would sit on the veranda, which is the porch, would sit on the veranda while I write on that board and taught them. And some of them were my age, like six and seven, but they were like five years old. <laughs> Oh my God. There was an eight year old too. So there was eight, there was seven, there was six, there was five. And these kids would just sit there every single Saturday or Sunday morning. And I would pretend to be the teacher. And I would have a ruler in my hand and a chalk. And I would teach everybody how to spell their names. That was the first thing I would do. I would write their names on the board and everybody had to learn how to spell their names. And then I, I taught them the 66 books of the Bible and have them memorize from Genesis to Revelation. I would write it out on the board, all of the books of the Bible, and they had to repeat it. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicle, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Eclipse. I would do that. Um, and 66, and it almost became a song. Till this day, I can say it all the way from Genesis to Revelation because at six years old and seven years old, I was teaching that. I did not recognize that was purpose. 
I did not recognize that at six and seven, it was in me. But when I got to be 30s and 40s, I had no idea what it was. Because that childlike faith that I had, that childlike innocence, that thing that God had blessed and placed inside of me that I did naturally, I, I, I lost it. Because I got too adultly. <laughs> I got so adultly that I lost sight of what God had shown me and had placed in me before I came to this earth. And yesterday I was listening to my overseer and she said, you know, sometimes we get so familiar or feel, feel so familiar to God that we become blind. It's like we miss it because there's a familiarity instead of a, a reverence. You understand? And because of the familiarity, sometimes God is in us, but we're missing sight of the God in us because we're trying to find the God out there. Oversee, I hope I'm doing good. Um, we're trying to find the God out there and then we're missing the God that is in us. And because we get so familiar with what we see manifesting in the physical, we lose sight of the, the, the spiritual that's within us. And that's what happened. I, you know, that became, that was nothing to me. I felt like, oh, that's a little girl trying to, you know, always be a teacher, always dress up. No, that was purpose. That was purpose from then. And here I am now, the very same thing I did at six and seven years old is what I'm doing. I am training, I'm coaching, I'm teaching, I'm ministering, I'm helping people write their books. I'm helping people learn. I'm helping people build business. I'm helping people establish legacies. The very same thing I did as a little girl. <laughs> Shania said the hand clap. <laughs> the very same thing. So think back. Think back to when you were younger. What was it that, be, that was so amazing for you that you could just do it as a child? What was it? What was that thing? For some people, it's just singing. For some people, it's playing instrument. For some people, it is cooking. For some people, it is this thing that as a child, it was just so, it came so natural. And think about it now. Even now, there's some people that things come so naturally for that they dismiss it. As what they're good at. They dismiss it because it's so familiar that they miss the anointing of the thing that God gave to them as a gift. So what is it for you that you are missing? What is that thing that you are missing? And how can that thing, that gift and that talent that you have make room for you and your family? And maybe today you're listening to me and you're saying, I don't know what it is, but because you've gotten so familiar with that thing that you were blessed with and that you're so good at, you're missing it. You're missing it because it is in there and it's not out there. It's not outside. It's already in you. How do you activate and manifest that thing? Because it is not for you to keep for yourself. It is for you to impact the kingdom of God. That means whatever that gift and talent is, it is to be used. It is to be used for someone else's benefit. Because that's how you're impacting the kingdom of God. What is it? And where are you now? with creating something that can benefit you? Or where are you now with that thing, that dream that you have been deferring and putting off and putting off and putting off because you can't get to it? Because everything that you're doing is just to, to get by. But have you tapped in to the God on the inside? Have you tapped into the God that's in you? Have you tapped into the Holy Spirit that's on the inside? You're out here looking for something out outerly. Oh, I don't know what my purpose is because you're looking for something outerly. You're looking for something and the eyes, you know, that even sometimes you see things physically that are even not even true. <laughs> right. So you're so busy looking for something out there, trying to mimic and create something out there. But it's already in you. What is that thing? And for so far where you are now in your life, what have you done with it? Have you done anything with it? 
You know, have you done anything with it? We are in March. Next week, March is over. <laughs> oh my God. I think it's next Thursday is April 1st or whichever day, next Wednesday, something, right? Or next, I don't know. But next week, April starts, right? One quarter is already done. And where are you? It's time you activate that crown. Ha! Ah, come on now. Thursday. Thank you, Shania. Thursday is March, April 1st. You got to activate that crown, ladies. Oh, my God. You got to activate that crown. Ooh. You got to activate that crown if you have not done so yet. How are you showing your children, the next generation, what's next? How do you leave a legacy for yourself and your, well, the legacy is for your loved ones. But what is the legacy that you are leaving? What is that legacy? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Mm. Jeremiah 17 and verse 7. Are you trusting in him? Are you hoping in him? Listen, we got work to do, ladies. We got a lot of work to do. And I want to, on, on, on that note, on that note, listen, let me just say this to you. If you are here this morning and if you're listening to me, oh no, oh no. Okay, I thought I lost you guys for a moment. If you are here this morning and you are listening to me, I want to tell you some opportunities that I have coming up. Good morning, cousin. How are you? Nice to see you. I want to share with you some opportunities that I have coming up. So I am always trying to empower others. There is nothing that I do that I do it from a selfish place ever. Nothing. I do nothing from a selfish place. As a matter of fact, I think that sometimes I'm too giving. And I'm too um, generous. But honestly, that's how I was created. I don't know any other way to be. And so I feel like if I have knowledge of something, I want to share that knowledge with others. If I am growing, I want others to grow. I never want to leave one woman behind. If that woman is a part of my circle, or I know her, or I'm connected to her, I want her to win. If I'm winning, I want to know that everybody that surrounds me or is around me is winning as well. And everything I do, I try to bring others in it to be a part of it, right? And so... I don't know if you're aware, I've written 11 books in, in five years. Let's say five years, 2016, I wrote my first book. I've written 11 books or have been a part of a collaborative process, but I have a total of 11 books, right? That I have written or collaborated on. And four of those books were anthologies. And four of the, those books are my anthologies. When I say my anthologies is, I was the visionary author and I invited others to be a part of it. And I will tell you that those anthologies that I did, majority of those authors that I had partner with me had never written a book before. But today, those people are all best-selling published authors. Why? Because I wanted them to have an opportunity to collaborate with me so to take the fear away and for them to become authors. And so now I get to do that again. Deliberately, I'm doing it again because I know that there's so many people out there that want to write a book, but not sure um, as to how to go about, about it or may say that it might be too costly. I don't know how, you know, all these different things. I'm afraid. I don't know if I have the marketing, um, you know, the visibility to be able to make this book successful. But here I am. I can do that for you. So if you are willing to become a part of this next story that I'm doing, it's called The Image in the Mirror 2. And it's all about how the visualization process helps you to manifest your dream. And what is visualization? 
is knowing that you have a vision, writing it and putting some actions to it. That's what that is, right? You visualize where you want to be, right? You 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 say things as though they were, right? I don't remember that scripture. Somebody can drop it in there, right? Saying things that 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 are real as if they were, right? <laughs> like manifesting that I want to do A, B, and C, and I'm walking in it. I'm already telling myself, this is where I am already, all right? Seeing it before you see it. That's what it is. See, good morning, um, Annette. Yeah, international best-selling authors, amen. Seeing it before you see it. That is the process of visualization, right? I know this is what I'm going to do. I'm not doing it yet, but that's where I'm going, right? So seeing it before you see it. So um, that's what visualization is. And a lot of people, when they recognize that Angela just dropped something, Angela M. Mitchell, she's on the chat. She said an international best-selling author. I remember meeting Angie in 2020 on a Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. She was a part of my 31-day devotional on Facebook. And then she connected with me for a consultation and we met. And I remember talking to her and she wasn't sure what she wanted to do. She was kind of in a, this, in a space. And I know she don't mind me saying this. She was in a speak things that are not as though they were. Praise God. I know that overseer would help me out. Speak things, speak those things that are not as though they were. Praise God. That's that's what visualization is. That's that's it. And I remember talking to Angie, and today, a year later, that one discussion, and she was emotional when we did that discussion. And to see her now, <laughs> I can't even tell you in one year. The stuff that has happened to this, the, there is no words to even describe what she does now. She's an international best-selling author. She launched a business and a brand. She um, is running a, an amazing Facebook group on Facebook. She bought a house. She graduated with, with another degree. Um, and she just won a pitch contest and will be speaking on my stage in September. And all the other stuff that she has done in this year. That is the power of connection. If you are connected with someone and your life hasn't changed, you may need to rethink your circle or rethink that connection. Because you, when you're connected to people, the circle has to make you grow. You have to be so inspired that you want to grow. So watch your circle. Who is in your circle? And is your circle a circle where they can help you grow? Because you connected to them, your life is enhanced. And that's me and Angie. And Angie is just one of them. Hillette is on here, right? I mentored her. I had a coaching session with her. She took my personal development coaching course in 2017. Today, she has a successful YouTube channel. She is a independent publisher. She's helping people write books. She's a Christian coach. I can't even tell you all the stuff she's doing. And guess what? She gets to interview her mentor today on her TV show. Who is in your circle and who is the people that you're influencing? And what is that gift and that talent that you have? Women, I need you to own your crown because you were, you are the crown. You're the crown to your husband. You're the crown to your children. You're a crown to this earth. And I need you to own that. So as I was saying, if you will want to be a part of this anthology, I'm having an interest meeting on Saturday at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And it's to tell you a little bit more about this new anthology, how the power of visualization manifested a dream deferred. And this year, this book will also be a documentary. So it's an anthology and a documentary together. And the director of the documentary is a woman of God. Come on now. My sister girl is a film director and she will be directing this 
this whole um, thing, this movie that we're going to be doing from the book, Image in the Mirror 2. So if you're interested in being a part of that, you can go to my website, victoriousupress.com. Angie, can you type that in the chat for me? <clears throat> victoriousupress.com. You, you can do forward slash events. But if you go to victoriousupress.com, the very first, uh, you'll see the tab, you know, events. Click on events. And the very first picture is the picture of the book, Image in the Mirror 2. Click on that picture. Fill out the interest form. You'll get an email and it will give you a link to our Zoom call on Saturday. Just come here. It don't want to hurt you. It's free to come and uh, to come to the um, the interest meeting. It's free to hear. It's free to listen. But if you feel like God is tapping you and said, you know what, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for you to um, to do something that you've always wanted to do then you are with the right person. Trust me, because everyone connected to me should win. If you don't win, it's because you didn't put the effort in, right? Everyone connected to me should win. This morning before I wrap up, <clears throat> I want to I wanna say this, I want to read this prayer for you. And I'm trying to find it. I don't know why I did not mark the page. I had a whole prayer for you for today. Got it. All right. So you ready? Victor no, put it all together, Angela. <laughs> Is one word. Yeah, victoriousupress.com. Put it, put them together um, so that they can click on that link and then it'll, it'll, it'll take them right there. Own that crown. And overseer said Romans 4 and verse 17. Speak those things that are not as though they were. I want to read this for you, right? And then we're going to wrap up. See, I told you today was just a sister girl conversation. Sister girl conversation. And by the way, while we're on sister girl conversation, my conference is coming up um, September 24th through the 26th. But um, the VIP tickets are out there now. So I have the VIP tickets. Um, we are VIP early bird tickets, right? For $247 right now. You have a two pay option. It's also on the website, right? Thank you, love. VictoriousUPress.com. It's also on, um, on my website. Click on it and invest in yourself. We all got some stimulus money. <laughs> this, this, whatever, right? Most of us did anyway, got stimulus money. Take the $247 and pay and come be a part of the VIP, the VIP session for the conference. You'll be there for three days, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday and Saturday is the conference for everybody else virtually. The VIP are the only ones that will be in the room. And yes, socially distance, all of that good stuff, right? And then on Sunday, we have something special for all the, those who are a part of the VIP. And for my conference, Angela Mitchell will be speaking that Saturday. I am so excited to know that a client of mine who has launched her brand is going to now speak on my stage. How amazing is that? Who is in your circle? Who are you connected with? Who are you collaborating with? If the person, if the people that you are surrounding you is not allowing you to grow, change your circle, <laughs> change it. All right. Here is a prayer for you. Queens, women, we're still in women's month, right? Prayer to activate the timing of the Lord is what I'm going to read for you. Lord, I pray that you will make me a woman who understand time and seasons, enlighten the eyes of my understanding. Help me balance this season of my life. There is a season and a time to my purpose. Thank you, Lord, for the Asakar anointing. Lord, I want to do everything that you have assigned to my life. Let the spirit of revelation and understanding be released in my life. I'm going to say that one more time. Let the spirit of revelation and understanding be released in my life. I decree, Lord, 
that I am a woman who walks in total synchronization with you. I loose myself from delayed spirits. I loose myself from delayed mission. I loose myself from delayed purpose. I decree divine acceleration in my life. I decree divine acceleration in my life. I will no longer lag behind. I will no longer be caught behind my purpose. Neither will I get ahead of you. I will be in the right place at the right time. I decree divine alignment for my assignment. Hallelujah. I decree divine alignment for my assignment. I decree alignment in my thought patterns. I decree alignment in my moments. I decree alignment in my time. I will not squander time any longer. I will not squander time any longer. I will maximize every moment for the purposes of God. Lord, I give you permission to remove anything that has delayed your purpose for my life. I also give you permission to remove everything that will delay your purposes in my life. Remove anything that will hinder your call on my life. Oh my God, I'm going to read that again. Remove anything that will hinder your call on my life, including relationships or people. My, 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 my. Come on now. Whoo. Let me attract the people who will propel me into your purposes for my life. I have to read that again. Let me attract the people who will propel me into your purposes for my life. Lord, send instructors and mentors who have words of wisdom and instructions in due season for my life. I could have never chosen a better prayer this morning than this one. It is a prayer. And I'm going to show you the book I'm reading it from. I'm going to read out one more time. Whew. Let me attract the people who will propel me into your purposes for my life. Lord, send instructors and mentors who have words of wisdom and instructions in the season for my life. Thank you, Lord, for appointing my days and ordering my steps. I surrender to your timing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay. I just read this from the book called The Deborah Anointing. I have the Deborah Anointing. I have the Anna Anointing. I have the Esther Anointing. I have the other Hannah Anointing. I have like seven of, of, of these books. Like if you want to get them, you can get them. But I love these books. Talk about queen. Talk about purpose. Talk about allowing people to in, come into your life. Your prayer should be, I decree and declare this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Kaylin. And Shania is here as well. Shania Elliott McDowell. Let me tell you, I have to say something before, before about her before I go. Shania is also a part of my, my circle, a part of my tribe, a, a part of my group, right? I call them my tribe now, right? There's a, a group of them that's that's my, my ride and die tribe people. And I met Shania the same way last year, 2020, when we were doing Jesus, Joan, and Journal. And I remember having a conversation with Shania. I was standing in my kitchen washing dishes, and she told me a story that knocked me over, Right. And we got connected. Shania is a part of my anthology. Shania was also a part of my academy that I just, they just graduated last Monday. And today, Shania is a two-time best-selling author, right? Um, getting ready to release her third book, established her chef and catering business, um, is doing amazing things. Just did a whole catering for a school last week. Um, Shania now speaks. Like before, when I met her, she would not, she, she wouldn't talk. 
like like she would not talk publicly, right? I see Shania talking on camera now. It's just absolutely amazing. And so I go back and say to you, who are you connected with? And are they helping you enhance your life? All right. And so my cousin said, beautiful prayer. Thank you, Joan. I receive it in Jesus name. Amen. Listen, that's all I have for you today. I just prayed for you with this prayer. <laughs> I hope that blessed your life. Listen, start thinking about it. If you are in a place right now and you're thinking, my God, what is next? I don't know what to do. Right. Here I am. Right. God just sent me to you <laughs> to help you. Right. Figure out what it is that you need to create from your hands. What is in your hand? I can help you recognize it and find it, right? So you either come on Saturday to my um, my thing or I invite you to be a part of my conference, right? My conference is coming up September 24th through the 26th. I would love for you to be at VIP. I only have like a certain limited space for VIP. Limited, just a handful of people. I want to be there in person with me and we have a treat. I mean, you will be... What we're going to do for you is going to blow your mind, right? So if you have the notion on the inside that you want to be connected to someone who is not only walking in faith, but walking in perfect alignment with God, as I said, again, I'm not perfect, but God's alignment is perfect and I serve a perfect God, right? So I'm an imperfect human being, but I serve a perfect God, but I know I'm walking in my anointing and I'm walking in my assignment and I'm walking in alignment, right? And that's why what I do is not for me. I do it for others because I am purpose to impact lives and I've been impacting lives since I was six years old. Right. So um, you don't have to worry about who I am. Go Google my name. If you feel like, oh, my God, I'm not sure. Google my name and see everyone connected to me wins. I'm going to say that again. Everyone connected to me win. If you do not win, it's because you didn't put the work in. Right. So go to my website. See what's there. Connect with with connect with me. And I promise you that your life will change. I promise you that your life will change. All right. So that's it. That's all I have for you this morning. God bless you. Join me on Wednesday night for Wednesday night Bible study right here on this platform that you're watching right now at 7 p.m. My God, do I have a word for you? And let me tell you from now, I'm borrowing a word from my pastor, <laughs> Overseer Juanita Jackson, right? My pastor preached a sermon the other day. And God dropped it in my spirit and I'm going to bring it to you on Wednesday night. So you want to be there to hear that. All right. God bless you all. I will see you and see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. No, see you Wednesday. You better show up on Wednesday. I love you all. Take care.